Hi Taurus, welcome to your November 2022 Tarot Monthly. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. Now in these monthlies, I like to navigate through different areas of your life, not just one. So I'm gonna look at your love life, of course, but also your career, your finances, your spiritual guidance. See what's really going on in your entire month of November 2022, okay? And then next week, I will do a love only reading for you. Now I already pre-shuffled behind the scenes. I'm just gonna give it a couple more shuffles and we will start your reading. Oh, and I'm using the Tarot of Dragons for the main spread. And then I will be clarifying with my favorite Mystical Cats Tarot deck. I think I've replaced this deck like 36 times. So if you're a cat lover like me, you'll love those cards. And then I'll close out your reading with a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle, okay? All the details of the decks that I use is always in every description box of the video. Spirit, please connect me to Taurus today, November 2022. What is the energy surrounding Taurus this month? Taurus, November 2022, love, career, money. One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Taurians. First card out is the Ten of Cups. Now the first card out is always my strongest in my readings. So with the Ten of Cups being here, they're showing me emphasis on family this month for you. Whether it's you know people that you live with or you're coming together with family members that live at a distance or this is you you know connecting with someone romantically that is wanting a long-term relationship with you because the Ten of Cups tends to lead to 10 plus years of happiness, right? So family is gonna be playing a pivotal role in your life this month, but it feels good. I've got the Page of Pentacles. You might have someone reaching out for a coffee date, wanting to see how you're doing. I think Libra got this. Yeah, I think Libra got this, or Gemini, someone did. Um, it feels very genuine. Someone's wanting to reach out and see how you're doing. All right, but for others, you might be getting a career opportunity and you're gonna get this phone call, email, or some sort of correspondence that leaves you feeling like um, the opportunities are quicker around you. We got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So with the King of Wands showing up, your confidence is gonna be increasing day by day. There's something going on with your energy this month where you're gonna feel like things are working out for you, you're getting the recognition you deserve, or some sort of skill that you are known for, you're gonna perfect. You might even have Leo in your chart, but this is also Sagittarius Aries energy, or there is a fire sign in the month of November that's gonna be reaching out, wanting to talk to you, wanting to see how you're doing, okay? I'll know more once I start to clarify, okay? We have the King of Pentacles, and this is your energy. So your money, your living situation, everything looks very secure in November. I don't feel like you're gonna have to worry about that right now. Um, I do feel like you are the head of the household or you are the main provider, the main breadwinner with that King of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys could be business owners and you may be communicating with outside vendors or your employees, or you may be a boss at someone else's company where you are being given more responsibilities this month because people can depend on you, all right? Because when you show up as the King of Pentacles, you're a reliable person, you're dependable, you know, all the bulls, right? Some of you guys may be buying a new home. This page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles could be you looking at new real estate properties or investing in a business office space. And maybe this King of Wands is your realtor, okay? As realtors are always very busy doing showings. That could be for someone here. Maybe you're looking for a new home for your family, or there is a child that may be moving back in with you in November, or you have you know, a child in college that may be visiting you this month for the holidays, all right? And they're gonna want a little bit of help financially to go back to school with, okay? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. You're overseeing a lot of different things in your life. You see how you're this badass dragon overseeing this building? A lot of people really count on you and you're always like 10 steps ahead of the game. You are really committed to everything that you put your time and energy into and that's what deems you a lot of respect from your peers. All right, again, whether it's the children in your life, the family members in your life, your coworkers, your bosses, whatever the case may be, you're being seen as someone people can rely on and that is like gold to people this day and age. Not too many people have anyone to rely on that really, really have their back. It's like you're showing up as that friend that will be there at 3 a.m. to bail out their friend who maybe drank a little too much and got a little bit rowdy at the bar, right? You are a reliable person. 
and you're coming up as family first with that ten of cups but you're also focusing on your career and money because you are also someone that likes to have a comfortable home right with that page of Pentacles coming through and the Hierophant to the King of Pentacles some of you guys may be searching for new uh, furniture for your home especially if you're hosting family um, Thanksgiving if you celebrate or any other you know particular ho holiday you're coming in as someone that may be wanting to you know pay attention to your home all right this is putting a nice little reef on the f on the front door of your house this is you like buying some candles and lighting them up in the house so it always smells like freaking fresh baked apple pie even though it's just a candle from bath body and beyond <laughs> it's just you're coming in with this very like mm, i like your energy I like your energy. So some of you guys may feel like uh, your home is definitely where you want to be at mostly with that Ten of Cups. Okay, I can even picture you spending your day off cleaning the entire house from top to bottom and then everyone knows that you're finished cleaning the moment you start pulling out your candles and lighting them up. You know, your family members are like, all right, Taurus is done cleaning. He or she's lighting up those candles, right? So that way you can snuggle up on the couch and just enjoy the rest of your day. Oh man, I like your energy. Uh, let's continue. Four of Pentacles, all right? The Four of Pentacles is protecting what you have created for yourself, protecting your home, protecting your stability, protecting everyone that's in your home, all right? But this is also my working from home card. So some of you guys may work from home and you always have family around when you, you know, need to be there the most. All right, um, I'm just, I'm getting someone that may work remotely part-time and then other half the time you do go to an actual physical space, right? And I'm getting so much pinnacle energy here. So I am getting like reference to the home for someone here. You might have someone moving in with you, okay? Or there is this King of Wands person that you're getting to know on a deeper romantic level. You guys may have been talking to each other for a few months now. They might be asking to live with you or to meet your family. Now, I, it's up to you if you want to let someone move into your home so soon after a few months, but hey, you know your person better than I do if this is something that's happening. But I am strongly getting that you might be introducing somebody to your family or someone's wanting to ask you if you'll meet their friends and family, okay? Uh, again, I put much emphasis on the first card because it's the strongest energy. That and the overall energy that I'm gonna be pulling in a second. We have the Six of Swords. Beautiful, beautiful read. And the Five of Pentacles. For some of you, you are moving on from a period of um, time where money was a issue, was an issue for you, you're moving forward from that because of your hard work and the support from family maybe, okay? Because the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Swords is telling me that you're moving forward from a financial burden, a financial stress, all because you put in all of your effort to get yourself out of a situation that was leaving you feeling like you couldn't, you know, afford the nice things for your home, things like that, and you're coming in with a very gratitude energy, a very uh, grateful energy, or a feeling of just being thankful. I feel like I have a Taurus here that's really thankful this month, and you're gonna really like sit on that a bit, all right? Because the end of a difficult time is here with that Six of Swords to the Five of Pentacles. Or you're moving on from someone that may have ghosted you, left you out in the cold, and you've got someone new that you're talking to that is coming in with a very stable energy and wants to see more of you and when it goes to you, right? Because the King of Wands in the upright position is not a ghoster. The King of Wands in the reverse is a player, is someone that is charismatic just to get what they want and then they're gone as soon as you said hello, right? The King of Wands in the upright is telling me that you, you may be connecting with someone this month that is very attracted to you and wants to take things slow with you with that Page of Pentacles because they see you valuable, okay? Your advice is the Hanged Man, Major Account for Pisces, and your potential challenge this month the magician and your overall energy the six of cups so with your overall energy this month being the six of cups a lot of you guys are feeling nostalgic about the past especially with the ten of cups being your emphasis of the month right some of you guys may be you know having memories of someone that may have passed on maybe you're you're spending the holiday season with your family and you guys are all talking about remember when grandpa joe did this remember when grandma sue did this and you guys are like feeling nostalgic about the family members that are no longer going to be sitting at your dinner table this month or moving into december for the you know 
the, the main holidays. Okay, you're, you guys are remembering and not forgetting the people that were before you, and it's very beautiful energy, okay? But I'm also getting a nostalgic energy surrounding something else um, that dates back to your past that is you know, coming up for you this month. Maybe you grew up in a home where it was poverty stricken, and now you're looking back at your childhood, Six of Cups, at the lack of money your family had, and it's making you even more proud of the money that you have created for yourself. Ooh, I just got chills when I said that. I have a Taurus here that's looking at their life thinking, I am so freaking proud of myself. I pulled myself out of the financial dark abyss and I earned it. I earned it with that King of Pentacles energy. And you're taking good care of your family. Some of you guys may actually support family who live outside of your home because you're financially capable and you might be putting a family member in a you know facility for you know the elderly but you're making sure that they're getting taken care of really good because they took good care of you when you were a kid six of cups or some of you guys are helping out a sibling some of you guys may be helping out a sibling now with the magician being in your challenge position some of you guys may be interfer interfering with some of your other manifestations all right, because the magician, when it's in the challenge position, is you know having the ability to manifest more into your life, but getting a little bit, you know, ooh, eleven, eleven. Just when I said that, whoa, eleven, eleven on the clock. Just when I was holding this card, that's big. So it's just the energy of be mindful of your negative thoughts because they could be manifesting itself, especially if you look at the clock and you see 1111, think about what was on your mind at that moment. Was it negative or was it positive? Because we're manifesting all the time based on our thoughts. Try your best not to let the negative thoughts simmer too long, okay? Because then they can manifest in itself. All right, so I've got a Taurus here that's so proud of where they have come from, and you do not want to relive what you got out of, and you're trying your best to not even like let that happen, but there's moments where you get scared that it could happen again. That's for somebody here. Or some of you guys have moved on from a breakup where you felt abandoned and ignored, and now you're talking to someone new that's leaving you feeling so appreciated, so admired, and you, you're scared that it could just be a false hope. Right? And with that hangs man being your advice, they want you to sit and reflect and self-sacrifice your feelings at this moment to gain higher access to your, your, your subconscious mind for the answers. And let go of what doesn't serve you so that way you can focus on your, on your now. Right? Don't let ghosts of the past haunt your future. So I'm going to start clarifying. Okay? I'm going to get super, super nosy. Oh, before I begin, um, I'm giving away two private readings this week. I announced on my recent All Signs reading that I'm doing a personal reading giveaway, two of them. I do it every new month to show gratitude for you guys' awesome support. So if you want to be entered in the description box below this video is a link to my most recent All Signs reading, or you can just toggle to my most least recent live stream. And in that video, the All Signs, just comment underneath the video, add me to the drawing, boom. I'll put your name in the jar. I'll either use your YouTube handle name or you can provide me with a fun nickname that I can say live on air if you don't want your actual name to be mentioned. Okay? Oh, and also rock that like and subscribe button if you want. Spirit, please connect me to that Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups for Taurus, please. Ten of Cups for Taurus. Ten of Cups for Taurus. Why is that their main focus this month? Why the Ten of Cups? Ace of Swords. So there's going to be some information surrounding family this month. There might have been an altercation between a family member with that Five of Swords or someone that you felt like was going to be a part of your family moving forward. It could be a lover with that Lover's card with the Gemini energy coming through here. Knight of Cups. You may have had some sort of disagreement with somebody or someone may have been not being honest about their true intentions and feelings with that moon to the five of swords. And then this month, you're gonna get the information that you require. Why the page of pentacles to the king of wands, please? Why the page of pentacles to the king of wands? Knight of swords, someone's wanting to talk to you. There's a strong um, conversation coming in from somebody. Can I get another card on that king of wands? And then I'm looking at the six of pentacles. For some of you, that is a boss or someone that you want to work with. And the Six of Pentacles is money being handed to you. Or if you are searching for a home loan, you may be getting um, the green light from a loan originator and you're finding out from your realtor. Okay? Yeah, just when I said that, the chariot, which always reminds me of a realtor doing showings. Okay? And you having to move 
with that chariot moving to a new house and if that's not the case there's someone that wants to move forward with you and they're coming up with the confidence to speak to you about their feelings with the emperor to the strength card and you are the empress taurus so someone's wanting to level up to emperor status to show you that they care about you nine of wands on the bottom all right what is this king of pentacles for taurus king of pentacles in the hierophant king of pentacles in the hierophant Six of Cups. Some of you guys do have children and you're taking good care of them. And for others, with that Six of Cups being the overall energy and clarifying this, you are doing a lot of self-reflection during in the month of November, whether thinking about people that you knew in the past that maybe already passed on, um, or just doing a lot of self-reflecting on where you brought your life after you know some struggles. And if you're still in the midst of that struggle, they are showing me that the more work on you, the more you do work on yourself and you focus on your confidence and going after opportunities that are aligned with you, you will get out of this financial burden if you are still currently in that financial burden, especially with that Six of Swords being here. You might need to let go of something or to just like pause and reflect on a few things so that way you can start manifesting what you truly desire and then there's the magician on the bottom can i get a card on that four of pentacles the wheel of fortune luck is on your side something is spinning in your favor and since i was clarifying the four of pentacles some of you guys may be finding ways to make extra money and that's what's going to bring you that stability or luck is going to be on your side in regards to a home situation or something in involving people places and things that you cherish and that you value can i get a card on that five of pentacles six of swords six of wands getting success after a challenging time the six of wands comes after the five of wands jupiter and leo and the planet Jupiter connects to luck and expansion. And I just said a moment ago, your luck is changing. Towards your luck is changing in a big way. You're coming up with all this manifestation energy. So be mindful of all your thoughts and the things that you say. All right, because you are a manifesting machine right now. Some of you guys might be manifesting generators if you know anything about the human design. Um, they're showing me that November is going to be a very fertile time for you to create the life that you want for yourself. Okay, and if you catch yourself thinking a negative thought, snap out of it, <laughs> all right? That's what I try to do to myself anyways. If I have a negative thought that lingers too long, I'm like, stop thinking about that. And I distract myself with something else or I say something positive about myself that helps me to shift that energy and transmute it, okay? Because you're a manifesting powerhouse this month is what it shows me and you're taking yourself out of generational um, trauma. All right, it may be your whole generation of family all grew up in poverty, had a, no money, and now you're the, gonna be the first uh, millionaire in your family, okay? And just when I said that, the Queen of Pentacles is on the bottom. You may very well be the first millionaire of your family or whatever is abundant to you, right? 100K could be a, abundant for somebody or 60K. It's all gonna be different okay but with the fact that i got the king and queen of pentacles here i do feel like you have a stable partnership surrounding you or heading your way if you are single so let me get a whispers of the ocean oracle this is going to be a fantastic month for you taurus look at that breakthrough to new dimensions a new endeavor is on the horizon innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness Tour something break something I can't even speak I'm stuttering all of a sudden something powerful is trying to break through okay something powerful and that could be why that magician is in your challenge or in your blockage because something may be hindering it right now but you can prepare for it diving to new depths there is a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you are feeling about your current situation. And I do have the hangman as your advice. And doesn't that look similar to the artwork? So that's your advice. What's on the bottom? Dancing in the rainbow. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness and find out what you truly desire. And that's similar to the hanged man too. Breaking free from what's holding you back. Letting go. S surrendering to the divine. All right. So I hope this reading helps. I freaking love you, Taurus. If it helped, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, uh, Taurus, the link to my website is in the description box. Love ya.